Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Chef KG. And here we are. It is a super special day, but check this out. I'm gonna play this video real quick. That's a pre-recorded video. And then I'm gonna jump on and we're gonna do this live. Happy Sunday, y'all. Shout out to my Steelers. Y'all know what's up. Let's go. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Chef KG, and you are in the G spot, and you are growing with Glover Live. Now, check it out. Today is Sunday. It's another wonderful day, so if you're joining, thank you for joining. I appreciate that, and I'm just going to go through a few different things. Shout out to everybody who voted this week. Y'all voted for Cajun Shrimp and Crab mac and cheese and we are going to hook it up it's going to be beautiful baby let's get started by talking about the um ingredients list shout out to everybody that's logging on when you log on please smash your favorite emoji and please tell me where you're watching from i'm going to be watching the comments interacting with you the whole time so don't be afraid to put some comments in there tell me what you think ask me questions crack a joke i don't care do what you got to do all right, so let's talk about the ingredients list that we are going to, you're gonna need. The first thing is you should have already cooked some pasta, right? If you're cooking along with me, you should have your pasta ready. If not, put the pasta on right now. Have a nice warm pan ready to go. Now, we are going to, you are going to need about two pounds of delicious shrimp. Get your shrimp ready, two pounds of shrimp. The next thing you are going to need is you're going to need another pound pound and a half two pounds of lobster meat this is jumbo lump i'm sorry crab meat crab meat this is jumbo lump crab meat delicious it's banging the next thing you are going to need as i already said you're going to have to have some of your pasta make sure you have some pasta you are also going to need to have cheese you're gonna need to have cheese, okay? The cheese that we have right now are four cups of cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese, two cups of mild cheddar cheese, two cups of Monterey, uh, Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese. You're also going to have to have a half cup of Parmesan cheese. So make sure that you have your cheese. Now, let's talk about the seasonings that you're gonna have to have. So the seasonings that you're gonna to have to have, let's run this down. You are going to need a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a half teaspoon of paprika, a half teaspoon of seasoned salt, and you're also going to need a little bit of olive oil. So I put everything together in here. You wanna look, you wanna look? Say, say, say. Put everything together here, so we're gonna have this. If you wanna put it together like that, do the same thing. But take a note of your seasonings so you are also going to have to have you are going to have to have i'm sorry i'm grabbing something in here you are going to have to have two large eggs and i also forgot to tell you that you're going to need a quarter cup of basil all right now you're also going to need a few other things because this mac and cheese is delicious you are going to need to have two cups of evaporated milk and you're also gonna have to have one cup of whole milk, okay? So, right here, I have my, try not to spill it, evaporated milk and my whole milk is right in here, so it's ready to go, all right? It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday like I'm having, and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get, get into the rest of the show. Let me make sure I told you everything that we need. We got our shrimp. We got our crab, we got our basil, we got our large eggs, we got our evaporated milk. I gave you all the other ingredients and I gave you the cheeses. We are good to go. Now, stay tuned and let's get into this live show. We'll talk to you guys. Let's make it happen. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's you. Yo, it's your boy KG back live and direct doing my thing. Happy Sunday one more time to everybody. Now check it out. I got my boy John Liguri on there. John, what's up? I hope you're doing well. Let's cook up this food. Sight, Krupneski, I see all y'all. Welcome to the show. Now here's what we're gonna do. Like I said, we are cooking up some Cajun shrimp and crab mac and cheese. But hold up, hold up. Today is a special day. It's a super special day. It's not just because it's Steelers won. Yeah, we know what happened, right? 
But I got to give a shout out to my main lady. It's her birthday. The one to be taking care of the kids, holding things down. You know what it is. We having a little celebration. We got some family over here. Tamara, my kid's mother, and she is such a treasure. She's the one to be helping out so much around here. So everybody out there in the comments, yo, smash the emoji and say happy birthday, Tamara. This crab, mac and cheese, and shrimp mac and cheese, Cajun stuff is for her because this is kind of what she wanted. She was so happy that it won on the live. So give your girl Tamara a shout out and sit back and relax and let's make this thing happen. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead, we're going to get right into this message, uh, into this meal. So boil your macaroni. I, look, if you looked at my post, I already told you, have the macaroni already done, right? Boil your macaroni. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to cook up our shrimp. Now, look, I got a little special shrimp in here. It's my bag of shrimp, all right? I got a little special shrimps in here. They're called langostino tails. It's like a lobster shrimp from a different country y'all don't know about. But if you just have shrimp, that's just fine, all right? So we are going to cook up some banging Cajun shrimp mac and cheese. And our drink today, we're going to do a Godfather cocktail, all right? Because I'm like the godfather of food. You can say that, whatever it is. Now, look, let's go. Let's see what we got on the grill today, all right? So we are going to take our shrimp. We're going to put a little olive oil down. You know what? Let's see the, let's see the whole grill. All right, we're going to put our olive oil down, and we're going to cook our shrimp. That's the first step. Olive oil down on the hot grill. Don't y'all love that sound? I love it too. So we got our olive oil down. We're going to put our shrimps down. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's my sizzle. Sizzle. Oh, y'all can talk now. Y'all good now. Y'all can talk. I got a... All right. So you put your shrimp down, and we're going to cook our shrimp up. Nice hot griddle. Y'all know what time it is. And now what we are going to do... We are going to, on top of that shrimp, we're going to put some Cajun seasoning on top of that shrimp. Cinnamon, what's up, baby girl? I see you. I hope you're doing well. I see you, Tabitha. Okay, so we're going to put some Cajun seasoning on that shrimp. So let's go back and let's check that out. Cajun seasoning. Don't be shy with it. Do not be shy with it. All right? Make sure, because you want to taste that Cajun. You definitely want to taste that Cajun. All right, <laughs> and when you when you cough like that, <coughs> when you cough like that, that means you're doing the real Cajun thing. That means you're doing it the right way. So you know, I know I got I got everybody in my house coughing. The whole the whole crowd is going crazy. That's right. Hey, <coughs> that's how you know you you're doing it right. All right. And that's a, that's a whole bunch of people of color coughing like that, so you know them spices is here. <laughs> so step one is we are going to make sure we cook up. Look how good that looks. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to everybody who's joining. I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. All right? So, <coughs> that looks pretty good, does it not? Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to take the next step, which is we're going to set aside some crab, right? So check this out. Come on now. There's a whole bag of jumbo lump crab meat. It is banging. <coughs> it is delicious. And you hear the people still coughing because it's kind of crazy up in here. It's sneezing and stuff. It's all good. All right? So that's how you know it's going to be good, people. You know it's going to be good. So I hope y'all can still see this uh, shrimp. You can see the shrimp, right? Yeah, y'all can see it.
Get you a nice hot griddle like this. And make sure your shrimp is well seasoned, which we know it is because everybody was coughing. All right. So we're going to take that shrimp. We're going to set that shrimp aside in a second. I see you. <laughs> All my people, I appreciate y'all for joining. Thank you so much. We're going to continue to make these good meals. We're having a nice little celebration here. So now that our shrimp is cooking up, we're going to leave it on the hot grill for just one second. We're going to slide it off, and then we're going to work on our cheese sauce. Cheese sauce is slamming. It's slamming, so it is what it is, okay? So let's go ahead and take the shrimp off, set it to the side. Y'all doing good? I'm doing better. Shrimp comes off. Set it to the side. And you don't want to overcook the shrimp, especially because this is going to be going in the oven. So it's okay. All right. Y'all want to see the shrimp? See that? You see that shrimp? Delicious. The shrimp and the little langostino tails. They are slamming. So take this and put this aside. All right. That's what we got. So next thing we are going to do here, we are going to start on our cheese sauce. Now check this out, people. We go put the cheese sauce right in here. That's my pressure cooker, right? Y'all see this big thing right here? This is my pressure cooker. We're going to put it in the pressure cooker and we're going to cook it like an oven in there. All right. Joanna. Thank you for joining, Joanna. I see you. Appreciate you on there. So for the cheese sauce, here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I told you you need two and two-thirds cups of evaporated milk and one cup of whole milk. So peep this. Your boy. Put it together. All right? So here we got our milk. Okay? Now you are going to take all of the seasonings I told you about. And you are going to throw those seasonings into your milk. All right? So your seasonings jump in the pot, into the milk mixture. You're going to whisk it up. Whisk it up, baby, baby. Now here, at this point in time, well, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all the whisk. Because I know y'all trying to see the whisk. There you go. Now, just going to whisk the seasonings up in here. Make sure that they're incorporated into the milk. Banging. Now, at this point, you can taste the seasoning and you can say, oh, this is good. This is bad. I want a little bit more. I'm telling you, I already made this recipe. And me, for my liking, I like to have a little bit more heat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of heat to this. Right? I'm going to take some of my um, cayenne pepper. I'm gonna put some more cayenne pepper in there. Not too much, not too little. So there we go. Our cayenne pepper is in there. We mixing that bad boy up. Now, take that and set that aside, all right? Set that aside. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna crack some eggs because some eggs gotta go up in there. All right? So let's take about four large eggs. Take about four large eggs. Let's crack these eggs up. Let's whisk these things up. Now guys, what do you do when you're chilling in the kitchen and you got something that you gotta get rid of? Nah, Janae. That's how we do. You just throw it around. You just, you just do what you got to do. You just throw it around. You got to throw it around. This is for Tamara's birthday. We got, that's what we're we doing, what we got to do. Uh, last one. Last one. Throw it out. Anytime, y'all know what we got to do. All you have to do, when you have something, that's how we do on Glover's Grill. You just throw it around. Yo, I see y'all out there. Jess Fry, what's up, Jess Fry? Jess Fry say happy birthday, Tamara. So right now, we are whisking up 
the eggs. All right? Eggs have been whisked up. Whisk me away, baby. Okay. So now we got our eggs mixed, whisked up. We're going to take the eggs and we're going to add the eggs into our milk and spice mixture. Eggs go down into the milk and spice mixture. Done deal. Now, let's whisk that up a little bit. Ooh, this mixture is smelling good. Ooh wee. All right. So now we're just mixing up the egg mixture. Oh, that's how part of the show goes, y'all. Something falls on the ground, something falls on the ground. It is what it is. Okay, so our eggs are in the mixture. Mixed up really good. We are going to take our Parmesan cheese. We're going to add our Parm cheese in there. Parm cheese, where you at? I'm right here, player. I'm right here, player. Parm cheese into the mix. Now we're going to mix up the Parm cheese. Get it done. Make it happen. All right, we're going to whisk up the parm cheese. Y'all can see that, right? Okay. Very good. And we are going to dump that. Now, listen, I'm going to dump this into my pressure cooker pot. What you are going to do if you do not have a pressure cooker, you are going to dump this into a big pot, a big pan or a big, uh, like an oven, an oven pan, a deep oven dish. You're going to dump it in there. And once you dump it into that deep oven dish, it's okay if you don't have a, uh, it's okay if you don't have the same stuff that I have. It's all good. Yo, don't you know that Kimmy just walked in with her boy Chi? What's up, Kimmy? This is a celebration over here. We having fun today. All right. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to take our cheese mix. Remember I told you what the cheese mix was. The cheese mix were four cups, or sorry, it was, yeah, four cups of sharp cheddar, two cups of mild cheddar, two cups of Colby and Monterey Jack, and I already put the Parmesan cheese in there. Now you're gonna fold that into your dish, right? So let's take the cheese. I love the cheesy baby, okay? So we are going to take our cheese. See the cheese? All right, that's what's up. Jay Legs, what up? We're gonna take our cheese and we are gonna put our cheese into the pot. So let's go back to the pot really quick. We're going to fold the cheese into the pot. Cheese going into the pot. And we're going to fold it in. All right. Fold the cheese into your sauce mixture. And your mac and cheese is going to be so good, so cheesy. Fold it in there, incorporate it the way you need to incorporate it. Get all the spices mixed up. All right. All the spices mixed up. How y'all feeling out there? Y'all feeling good? I hope you're feeling as good as I am. Why am I feeling so good? I'm feeling good because the Steelers run, baby boy. That's what's up. Pittsburgh is in the house. That's what's up. Five and oh, Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People, people leave my stream. Oh, I'm my bad. My bad. Oh, oh. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. My fault. My fault. Go Eagles. That's it. What's up, Ale Alexander Brown? What's up going on, Lexi? How you doing? Good to see you. All right. So now what we are going to do, we are going to take a break. We're going to take a minute and we're going to do the favorite part of the show. Somebody is calling me. I think they need to get in here. Hold on a second. I can't get to that right now. I think somebody might be trying to get in. 9511? What's that last number? 9511? Phone number? Is that the other one that's supposed to be here? 9511? Is that her number? All right. So what we are going to do is we're going to go and we are going to put in um, 
Here we go. The best part of the show, y'all. Let's make it happen. Ethan in the house. Sing with me. When it drops, I want everybody to sing when it drops. Everybody got to sing when it drops. Bust the move, bust the move, baby. Oh. Here we go. Come on, Stevie, let's go. Everybody sing it. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Happy birthday out there to Tamara. It's a special day. We got so many people up in here. Um, I know somebody was trying to reach me on the phone, and they're supposed to try, probably trying to get here. So I don't know what we're going to do. Huh? Not? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We just did a dance break. Y'all know y'all have a good time on that dance break. Don't front. Act like you didn't have a great time on that dance break. So here's what we are going to do now. We are going to take our shrimp, our mixture. And you know what? I got to get that. Hello? Uh, hold on. Hello? Hey, are you coming in, baby girl? Look for the two BMWs in the driveway, and we're going to go outside. We're going to try to get you. I'm right in the corner. It's, 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 it's right off of the main street. Okay, baby girl? Call, call Tamara. She, everybody's here. She knows, she knows you're coming. Y'all know Ami? Okay. All right, baby girl. Bye. Sorry about that. I got people trying to, I got people trying to get to the party. You know what I'm saying? So here's where we go. I have my shrimp and my langostino, langostino um, crab tails. We are going to add, woo, this is the fun part right here. This is the good part. Y'all know nothing about this. What do y'all know about the jumbo lump crab meat? It is ridiculously good. Okay, you can't see? I'm going to put it in there, right? Here we go. Jumbo lump crab meat. Oh, my goodness. It, look, I don't care if that's a little piece. This jumbo lump crab meat is expensive. That joint's metal, so I got to get it all. Rosa, like, Kev, get it all in there, right? So I got my jumbo lump crab meat. Now we're going to fold this into the mix. Jumbo lump crab meat gets folded in. Oh, I know y'all want to see. So let's go. That's our pot. Here goes our jumbo lump crab meat and the rest of our delicious seafood. That gets folded in. So we're going to fold that into the mix. I'm going to take some of the other stuff that I made earlier today, and we're going to fold that in there, too, because I'm not wasting none of this beautiful seafood. Now we're just going to fold it in. Fold it in. The cheese sauce is slamming. The crab, oh, you can, like, you can smell the crab even though it's not even cooking. It's going to be cooking in a second, and you can smell it, and it smells delicious. All right? Beautiful. All right. So it's mixed up. It's folded in. It's looking good. It's smelling good. Now, the last step that we have, we are going to take our um, noodles. 
Now listen, y'all like glove. That's not mac and cheese. Yes, the hell it is. I don't like to use those uh macaroni shells because these shells, what are these? Manica? I don't even know what they are. I'm not Italian, but I wish I was, but I'm not, all right? So these get the cheese all up in the little curls and it tastes so good. I use this for my mac and cheese. You don't have to, but I do, all right? So the last step is we're gonna fold these things in and we're gonna cook this bad boy, all right? So here we go. Let me show you again. Let's fold these in. How's everybody out there doing? I hope y'all feeling good. All right. Now the macaroni, your pasta. It's not really macaroni, but it's your pasta. Pasta goes into the mix and you are gonna fold your pasta in. You've got all that delicious seafood. You've got all the cheese. You've got the milk. You've got the condensed milk. Oh, look how good that looks. You're gonna fold those babies in there. And you are gonna cook this bad boy. And it is gonna taste so good. It's gonna be slamming. Listen, real quick. All right, so that's all incorporated in there. Make sure you get all that moisture because you don't want no dry mac and cheese. 